music was so important oh, in the man. film, and I loved the way it was used in the song selection. Thank you. What would be on your playlist if you were on the run? Oh, man. Uh, well, I'll give you a couple songs that I was listening to while writing the movie, because I, I was just, you know, trying to get in my zone. Desperado by Rihanna, which is a little bit of a sleeper cut. I don't know if people know about it. Yeah. I told her that. I told her. I was, she was like, what? I'm going to revisit that song right now. Um, you know, Freedom, uh, Beyonce. Um, Someday We'll All Be Free, Donny Hathaway. Uh, and also, too, Never Too Much. You know, a little bit. I was, in, I was on the page, you know. Uh, there were a couple songs I wrote in. Um, some of them were way too expensive, so we had to, you know, figure it out. But uh, Ain't No Way by Aretha Franklin. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was just like, it was, it was like, those were just, just, just all kind of different sounds. Like some obviously new, some old, uh, very male, female, very different kinds of voices and sounds just to kind of help me get in the zone. And it was very important. Like listening to music for me while writing it was like very helpful in terms of getting me in the mind space. And it, it does, it's still, I, I, I listen to music a lot while I write. Um, and then, but Melina has such a, a great ear as well. And so obviously some of the stuff that was written in the script, she wanted to use, but then other things we found and obviously we, and we really wanted to bring the soundtrack back. So we also, you know, reached out, we worked with Motown and we worked with some of these amazing art of Meg Thee Stallion, Vince Staple. I mean, BJ the Chicago kid, you know, obviously Deb Hines scored it. It was nut. Lauren Hill gave us a track. It was nutty when we went out to people. And I think we kind of really, the dream which was a song on Sadie's Benz from an old thing of his. Uh, it was just a, a really great um, collaboration and experience, and we learned how much these musicians fucked with us and liked us. We're like, oh, great, thank you so much, this is amazing. So it was a beautiful marriage of them being like, no, we like what y'all are doing, we want to get our songs on there. And it was some people that were hitting us, like, I didn't want to get a song on the, on the soundtrack. We were like, oh, well, hold on. There was, some big, there was some big <laughs> artists that I was like, really, Melina, you're not going to let this person be on the soundtrack? It don't fit, it don't fit in what we're doing. Mm -mm. It's no, no, no. So I'm like, okay. So there's a couple big artists that are like still a little ticked that they're not on the soundtrack, which I find to be very flattering. But you know, there's time. There's time, there's more movies for us to make. There's more things for us to do. So people, they'll, they'll be just as eager on the next one.